Coach, uh, it's great to be part of this conference, and it's great to have you on BYU Sports Nation. And uh, you coach one of the more intriguing, fun teams that is, is on the rise in the Kansas Jayhawks. So our congratulations to you on uh, what has been uh, a journey for Kansas oh, football. Well, well, thank you very much. It's, it's great to be with you, and, and welcome to the Big 12. Thank you so much. Um, offensively especially, this group was special last year. What did it take to get this group in position to where you were one of the best offenses in the country and you had a quarterback in Jalen Daniels that led the NCAA in QBR? Well, you know, I think it started during our first year, and, and as you probably know, I don't know if all, everyone does, is the uniqueness of, of taking over the job at Kansas was essentially a May 1st, the 21 spring ball was just ending. We're fighting through kind of really getting to know the kids and the roster and, and things. And, and Jalen was a guy we were hoping to redshirt. And then we had two quarterbacks get hurt. And so we had to play. And then he, he led us to an upset victory down down in Texas in Austin. And then it became him, his unselfishness to, to finish the year and burn the redshirt. And, and we took the steps as a program. But as we started to see his skill set and really what we were trying to do, we, we added some wrinkles um, to, to utilize our, our – uh, personnel a little better and and it's gotten really creative and we've been able to because I, I don't know if we're going to run as fast as everybody in the league on the top half and things like that so we're, we're, we're creative Andy Kolnick our offensive coordinator and our staff did a great job of implementing a lot of ways to get some things going and and, and our game, guys gained confidence with it and they really had some fun and there's some triple option in there a little yeah, bit in the offense yeah, right it's fun yeah yeah that's one of those things it's funny he, our quarterback coach Jim Zabrowski was my first off offense coordinator at Wisconsin Whitewater, and Andy was the last one, and they're now they're together and have been together for a while. I asked those guys way back then to put some option in, and they they, they refused to, and and, and they kind of <laughs> yeah yeah, right a, yeah. Andy, our offense coordinator played in a wishbone offense, so it, it's almost like you know you know it's not a word you wanted to bring up but we've been able to do some things and, and utilize it and 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 our, our like i say jalen and, and the rest of our our players have really embraced it um we've i think we've done a very good job of implementing personnel groupings and and doing things to get a lot of players involved and i think that's helped us um you know close that gap a little bit I follow the great comedian and actor Rob Riggle on social media, and uh, I think he wants to become an honorary member of your staff, Coach. Well, I, I wish he would. You know, the weird thing, he, uh, I've never met him yet. We've oh, you haven't? I haven't, and it, he's been at a game, and we text and, and things like that, but I've yet to meet him. And it's, it's probably one of my, uh, you know, he was... College game day, you know, I, I do I do the interview early. He's the guest picker. He's around. But, uh, yeah, that's probably one of my unfulfilled things right now at, at Kansas. So hopefully <laughs> that'll make happen. that happen. Yeah, somewhere, yeah. Let's go, Rob. If, if it doesn't happen, it, it better happen in, in Provo maybe in, in 24. <laughs> How about that one? Huh? That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be fun. He could come on our pregame yeah, show. Yeah. Um, make sure he went to the uh, game in the 2 and 10 season first, though. Just make sure he's been <laughs> along for the journey, right? Um, offensively, so unique, so creative, so dynamic, so explosive. You return 10 dudes, mm -hmm. the whole O-line, the quarterback, multiple running backs. What what are you hoping for out of that group this year? And then what are you hoping out about defensively to aid that well, offense? Well, more? well, yeah, that's probably the, the, the most important thing for us. To, again, it's taking another step, first of all. You know, one, we have to keep Jalen healthy. Um, you know, I think we have a quality backup. And he's a guy who started a lot of football for us in Jason Bean, who might be the fastest guy on our team. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, but but we got to keep Jalen healthy. Daniel Highshaw was a running back that was playing really well for us, and he was injured. So, so again, health will always, as we know, that's part of the game. I think, again, um, being able to generate big plays, I think that was one thing that helped us last year. And I said, you know, I don't know if we're the fastest team in the country, but if you're creative and you utilize your scheme and, and – and, you know, you can find ways to get behind people or create other big plays. I think we need to do that. And, and I, I think we have a good feel for that. I think our guys embrace what we're doing, which allows us to continue to build upon that and add to it. And, and that's going to be exciting. Yeah. Um, again, anytime you get a, any taste of success uh, as a head coach, you're always worried that you, you've got to make sure complacency or, or you know, you got to keep the pedal down. And and we've got plenty to work on, and I, I think our guys and our leaders know that. Defensively, you know, again, third down, we've got to be a better defense. We've got to find ways to get more pressure on the quarterback. The whole – the back seven's coming back, and I think we've added some things there, Then, and we can add some depth and try to – try to continue to make adjustments you know we, we I mentioned when I took the job over and we came in as a staff um, it was a three-man front defense you know we've been transitioning to a four-man front and 
sometimes you feel you could make that, you know, usually they say the defense is ahead of the offense, but for, for what, whatever reason it may be in, in our program right now, it's the reverse. And, yeah. and, and, and we're, you know, we're expecting and wanting that to change. And I, I, I think we've taken those steps that, that, that'll help us. Lance Leipold, the head coach of Kansas football, is on BYU Sports Nation. BYU's first ever Big 12 game happens in Lawrence <laughs> on September 23rd. And a lot of Cougar fans obviously have that date scheduled. They're very excited. What's the game day atmosphere like in Lawrence right now? Yeah, I, but I got to ask you guys. I read somewhere I said that, that that wasn't like the, the fan base there wasn't excited about their first game. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know what I you mean, read, I, but they're excited. That's an erroneous they're, report. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. They're excited. I just want to make sure we got that. No, no I, I think you've watched a, a fan base that is starving for, for you know, a winning football program, a consistent football program. And, you know, right around that time when, you know, one year ago from that, from from our scheduled date with BYU, you know, we're in the middle of uh, three consecutive sellouts. And, you know, we're not the biggest stadium and all that, but it's a it's a great vibe and a, it's sitting on campus and yeah. and all these things. And, and I even go back to my first game as we were playing South Dakota and it was it was late in the game, it was closer than we wanted it to be. But, you know, there's a noise factor and there's some things. It's a great atmosphere, but I, I think it's, a, you know, I, I would hope that I haven't heard that it's a bad place uh, um, for a visiting team to come unless <laughs> you're from you know, maybe the other in-state school or the, the, the <laughs> former the former member of, of our conference, maybe. But all in all, I, I think it's great. You know, it's got a good vibe. We're we're working hard on improving our facilities. I, I think, uh, you know, you're going to see this stadium. And then I think the, the next time you, you come around, you're going to see a vastly different look and, and improvements to uh, to our football facilities as, as we progress. Do you have a perception of just BYU in general at this point? No, I, you know, not really. I, you know, uh, just through the the conference meetings and meeting coach and stuff. What a good man! And I, I, I just passed him here, here. I need to thank him. He sent a nice little welcome. You know, kind of like we should be sending you guys the gifts. But, <laughs> but uh, again, um, just in our, you know, the last two years out in Arizona, we had a chance to talk and uh, never had met him and and those things. Um, you know, I go back as a old high school quarterback that. Uh, you know, like to throw the ball and stuff. And I remember, like, I got a letter from, you know, Coach Edwards back yeah. in the day. You know, wow. that was big thing, you know. I, you know, uh, so um, I, I go back to, you know, it was Jim McMahon and it's a Gifford Nielsen. Yeah, yeah. 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 How about that? How about you that? that? Let's that go. was pretty Let's good. Go, huh? So I got nice a little pull. bit there. And uh, I'm going to throw, how about Robbie Bosco? <laughs> how about that? Keep going. Yeah, Robbie Bosco, had the, you know, then I'm a Packer fan and, all this and Robbie, Bob, I thought that was a steal in the in the draft. And the third had, round, yeah. And he had the bad shoulder, sure. and then his arm was never so. I, so if you're asking me that, um, <laughs> uh, how about that? How did I do? Great, hundred percent. BYU football historian Lance Leipold is on BYU <laughs> yeah. Sports Station. Yeah, he's gonna keep going. I love it. No, that's um, awesome, man. Yeah. So I, I've. I remember way back when I first started coaching, Coach French doing doing clinic yeah, talks. Roger seeing, French, yeah. yeah, and you know he was again. So I think when you go back and you know a lot here today talking about, you know the blue blood programs from this conference that are leaving. But when you you go back to, you know to my youth in my days, there, there's a lot of history. Yeah, and and BYU football, and to have them part of this conference, I I think is is nothing but a great addition. Oh, it's been great to talk to you, Coach. Uh, there's real movement, real atmosphere, vi and vibe in Lawrence now, and we we congratulate you on that. Well, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thanks for being uh, the opportunity to be with you guys.